Hello and welcome to New Junction. As you've seen from the last episode, my scatter is now dry. The undercoat is well and truly done. Um, and now comes the detailing phase. I've got a picture on my iPad. As you can see, this is the East Coast, straight off Google. It's very similar to what I'm going to try and replicate in my own uh, way. Um, you see the immediate line side is very messy and then it goes on to a relatively neat field and that's what we're going to try and replicate all the way along here. First things first, I'm going to try and break up the immediate line side with some scaled L walling. Um, I'm going to put that in very roughly um, and then I'm following on from that I'll uh, probably use some Woodland Scenics bushes um, of different colours. My preferred colour is olive green um, and I'll build that up with um, your sort of scatter colours um, and some lichen which you get in big packs. Um, and that's where I'll start as immediate detail. Um, just to make that rough look which we saw on the photo. Um, from that, behind the wall, I'll go on to static grass the fields and I've got some medium green and some harvest gold um, to do that, just so it's a bit lighter and it should match the back scene very nicely. Um, for details, I've got various things like trees and sticks. I'm, because it's a modern image layout, I didn't want it just to be just countryside, so I'm going to add um, the Hornby pylons, um, which I'll have to spray and then uh, stick them down, surround them with, I've got a Will's kit for fencing, um, I'll surround it with that, just to give it that sort of modern touch to the countryside, um, but it could all change as we go, so let's see how we get on. So that's the wall in place. What we'll do now is we'll stick that down with some PVA and then we'll uh, start putting some bushes against it on the track side. That's the wall all glued in. We'll let that dry overnight and then we'll come back to it. I've actually used the corner pieces from the uh, packs just to uh, hold the straight wall up, um, which works very well. Next job on the agenda, I need to spray me pylons. Now the way I uh, do my spraying is I put the item in an open cardboard box um, in a well ventilated area and then just spray them down. Very simple. For these I'm actually using a, a Humbrol acrylic spray and this one is uh, ooh, Ocean Grey. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Oh, 
That is all done. If I start it from right to left, this is the uh, cliff bit which I didn't manage to film but uh, filled in in the same way. Um, it's just drying. I'll hoover up the excess. And we come round the start of the wall, and you've got me pylon which is being held in by the, uh, the fence. Obviously, the uh, sticks are temporary, just holding it in place while it glues. Um, then we come down to the uh, the wall itself. Pretty much what I wanted, um, like we saw on that photo, messy, messy line side. Um, then going on to a relatively neat field. Um, I think that looks quite nice. Once that's dry, of course, um, I'll add some more um, detail. Um, the soil bits we saved from the, uh, the sieve earlier, if you put them underneath the trees for example, they look very realistic as uh, debris falling off. Um, I think what I'll do for this section, I don't think I'll use uh, static grass actually, I quite like the look of that. Um, I might lighten it up a tiny bit just to match the background, um, but I think I might uh, stick a a herd of cows or something on there um, and a bit more detail to the bushes but otherwise uh, thank you for watching I will uh, post the finished article in uh, my next layout update video which will uh, hopefully come very soon as ever thank you for watching and thank you for all your comments um, it's nice to hear them take care